Hey guys, welcome to the third and final replay I have. So I'm going to call this the championship, the final match. I don't know if it's a championship or not, to be honest. Naka starting in the upper right hand corner as the purple Zerg bottom left hand corner. We have Suricata starting as the orange Protoss. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the programmer is complaining about this particular map set. But I don't know why we don't have more tile sets that have... This is a infested Charmander? So a Char map. Which I don't, I've never seen this map before. But we will see. Anyway, we'll pull map reveal off. Infested Command Centers, uh, I want to give a shout out to the Twitch audience, Dark Matter, I'll answer that after the recording. Suricata, uh, Looks like he's already got that front door blockade, so just sealing in his front. He must have played on this map multiple times, because it looks like he already knows what he's doing here. Going for a pylon rather than for the seven. Looks like Nock has played on this map as well, so I'm assuming this is again the championship later in the bracket. So they're both going for the front door seal. And Overlord is floating to the south, and I think this is going to end up capturing these infested command centers a little bit more rapidly than Naka will. I don't know if that's going to be a factor or not. In the meantime, Naka going with an Overlord opener. It looks like he is going to go for a natural expansion to get his economy up and running. Suricata looks like he is going for... Is this going to be a 9 Nexus? He's got 400 minerals behind this. Yeah, he's going for a 9 Nexus. I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that. Like, this isn't even a 12 Nexus. This is a 9 Nexus. Continuing to build probes behind this. Interesting. And it looks like it might even be a quick 3 hatch from Naka. Although, this huge temple, that looks very Jedi-esque, I have to say. Doesn't it? Anyway. So, no quick three hatch for Naka. He is going to move out an additional drone. Maybe he can grab an additional hatchery, or maybe he can just go ahead and grab that scouting information. Although, I I believe this gap can be shot. I think if they're on top of each other, you can't shoot it sideways, but I believe to the north you can sneak through that gap with a uh, single unit drone. I'll have to brush up on my um, yeah, optimator in chat, making the very astute observation that space temples do not have much variation. They pretty much, it's true when you think about it. Like the space temple. Oh! Suricata is going to have that one stole from under. Whoa! Nope, just kidding. Not going to get tapped. So Naka actually not able to steal that infested command center, but able to steal the one to the north. And so he actually might end up with an overall advantage right there. But yeah, space temples, when you think about it. Like in Aliens, in uh, Amongst Jedi. Uh, I'm trying to think other space temples that exist. But yeah, they pretty much all look the same, don't they? Go figure. Anyway, neither player grabbing gas here. Two gate opener for Suricata. In the midst of this. 12 hatch is there. It looks like Naka going for gas and immediately going to lair. Drone has found the threat door. Maybe this is Stargate. Yeah, that's another. They look pretty. Although the, in that instance, they look a little bit more Egyptian, I think. I wonder if these are just not takeable. No, it looks like this one's takeable. Interesting. So Naka getting an advantage. I'm going to say two-pronged advantage, because first of all, he's got this gas down a little bit more rapidly. He's got the tech lead that he's uh, pushing. Some zealots are being produced, but this is a long distance to cover. And honestly, a single, really, two, inf uh, a single infested Terran could wipe that out. Four zerglings making their way across the map. Naka supply blocked himself here, but not in a bad position overall. Is floating forward his infested command centers. I don't like Suricata's strategy at all in this. He has not yet grabbed any any defense. He's just going straight gateway. He's honestly playing like a CPU here. Building a lot of Zealots and hoping to win it on Zealots alone. I don't think that's an effective strategy on this map. Zerglings, in the meantime, look like they're going to be able to go ahead and tear it through the front. I almost wonder, if this, is this a busted replay? I don't think so, though, because you've got this too much strategy happening. On the opposite side, pylon wall being built now for Suricata. Holding the Zealots back, doesn't want to reveal. So now five Zealots making their way across, but again, just a single infested Terran. Well placed, could wipe these Zealots out. And on top of that, we have a Spire morphing in that's about halfway finished. And Zealots do not, as much as they might try to jump in the air, they cannot attack air. 
In fact, I do believe that as a rule of being a Protoss Zealot, you always have to keep one foot on the ground. Otherwise, you die, is I think my, my the way I think about this. So they can't, they can't jump. Otherwise, yeah. But six Zealots streaming to the north. Sunk Colony being built. Spire just about being finished. And there's going to be Mutalisks. Five Mutalisks, six Mutalisks incoming. Plus, one Zealot having to sit back. That's not going to stop an Infested Terran from being built on site. So they're going to be able to kill that drone. But otherwise, I think they're just going to have to sacrifice their lives for the cause. So Spire's up. Plenty of larva. I'm looking for, for the Mutalisks to start being morphed. Looks like the Infested Command Center had to be lifted off and backed out. And Naka, okay, Mutalisks, because they weren't built immediately. Evolution Chamber trying to create a blockade. Double Evolution Chamber. The Zealots continue to press forward. They might be able to chew through this, this Sun Colony fairly rapidly, but they're not going to be done before these Mutalisks spawn and are... So Cancellation still looks like four Zealots, more Zealots streaming forward. Now here's the question. Can the Mutalisks of Naka kill the Zealots rapidly enough? Because Mutalisks, they do a lot of damage, but... I should say they do damage eventually, but still might be able to kill everything underneath. Looks like not. Those Zealots have been wiped out. They've been take, completely taken care of. No anti-air at all for Suricata in the meantime. Not uh, The Forge not even in place. So the Mutalisks is going to be able to just walk into the main, and that might be a quick GG. And I'm just going to have to say, this looks like it's going to be Naka's win without even using an Infested Terran on this map. Maybe they just opted to do a Gentleman's Agreement. Double Stargate trying to be warped in, but that natural expansion is going to be obliterated. More Mulists in production making their way this direction. Probes scattering absolutely everywhere, and Surakata's best shot, honestly, I think is to flee. To flee! Head for the hills. Try to go wherever you can to the map. Some cannons being warped in, but these Mulists should be able to chew through them. More mules need to join the fray, though. But yeah, they should be able to wipe them up before they warp in, and I think that is going to be GG. Naka should be able to take the match from here. More mules it looks like they're maybe strategically camping to make sure that any stragglers, make sure there are no survivors. Something along those lines. But both Nexus exposed. Four probes left. Three probes left. Two probes left. Only escaping with his life because he's in the gas currently. And there is GG from Suricata. Gonna have to declare Naka the champion. And that was Infested Cup Season 2. All the replays I have. Look for Season 3 coming eventually in 2022. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentaries. In the meantime, thanks for listening.